Right guys, I'm gonna be doing some gaming now on the Steam Deck. Uh, not a lot of games, just a few uh, games that I do need to update on and see what I'm doing. Right, so I'll be using the DualSense controller. This is connected to the uh, Steam Deck. But I do need to disable, I mean, just to stop this from being uh, used on my phone. Because if it's still connected to Samsung, it may cause some issues. So I just want to disconnect this quickly. Yeah, it's disconnected. That's fine. Right, so I'm gonna be doing some Steam ga uh, Steam Deck gaming. Just wanna open up Steam, check and see any updates. There's an update for Counter Strike Two. Um, gonna jump into uh, what you call this Vega very quickly. My Steam Deck's on Windows 11 uh, Pro. It's connected to a Acer monitor. It's also connected to a keyboard and a mechanical mouse which is a Logitech, sorry about the shake guys, uh, Logitech Hero G502 uh, um, Logitech mouse. Just noticing my, my mouse is always connected with these other cables and I don't know why. Just uh, moving it through some cables. All right, right, I noticed what this cable is for. It's for my headphones, right? That's the mechanical mouse I'm talking about. That's a Hero Logitech gaming mouse. As you can see, it is actually a gaming mouse. You can see from the design, it's not a normal mouse. It's a mechanical mouse. It's a Logitech gaming mouse. It's got that RGB thing. Uh, when it starts up, it does change colors. I do like this mouse a lot. Uh, I, I've never used it for gaming. I do not game with the keyboard and mouse but I do like the mouse itself. Right, so Vega is going to start up. Let me just fix the tripod, it moved a bit. Right, I'm gonna show you quickly what I've got running in the background. That's my MSI Raider gaming laptop. It's on the MoJ cooling pad. That's the AOC gaming monitor. And I'm watching a few videos. You can see the logo AOC gaming. It's 144 Hertz for that monitor. And in this side here, that's the Acer monitor. It's got Windows Mobility Center uh, program for sound. It has um, set timer resolution. It's got the quick CPU uh, power plant. That's what I use. Uh, it's got DS for Windows. It's got AMD power control panel. And that's the Acer monitor. Uh, over there, that's a gaming mat thing. It changes colors, RGBs. And right down there is the keyboard, of course, and the gaming mouse I was talking about. And of course, I like that mat because it changes colors. It's blue, changes to purple, matches the keyboard and mouse. And then it will change to a different color, red. Right, so that's the Acer monitor. That's what's connected to a hub, uh, connected to Steam Deck. That's the Steam Deck. That's the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. That's the iPhone uh, 12 over there providing light. And like I said, my gaming laptop up there with the RTX 3080 Ti. Laptop GPU, it's got an Intel i7 12800HX, which got 16 cores, 24 threads, and that's the AOC gaming monitor up there. That's what's connected to the laptop. The MoJ cooling pad, the, the one that's underneath my laptop, has got eight cooling uh, fans on it. It's really good, very nice. I bought that from Amazon, and I'm going to zoom into the Steam Deck because that's the main attraction. And uh, Right, I'm just going to jump into Vega quickly, just to do a few things. Right, I think I may have darkened the screen a bit. I'm just thinking because I think, um, yeah, it's, it's looking a bit dim because I've darkened the screen of my Steam Deck. You know, at, at night I do like to put the display down. Uh, because obviously I want to sleep and I don't want too much brightness. I'm just noticing that the brightness is low. But I mean, I'm not going to game that much on the Steam Deck anyway. 
Uh, most likely, I'm going to do a few short games. I want to jump into War Robots just to do a few checks on the game, and that's it. Right, in this one, it's going to be really quick. Just jump in, uh, go in my hideout, go to the top of the stairs, go to the rat trap, collect the rats there. Uh, I'm going to go down outside of the hideout. Uh, like I said, this game is a stealth game. In order for me to play it and make a video, it would take a long time. And by the time I finish playing on this, I collected some plants. I would be so tired, I wouldn't be able to play other games. Uh, this is logs. And this is herbs that I'm collecting. Going to donate all this stuff to my other neighbors. Collect some crowns if there are any. And go here and just donate stuff. Right, I'm donating to the other teams that do play these games. I don't know where the, all the stuff goes to, but uh, it's it's how you get your chest. And that's it. That's all I do in here. Once that's done, I tap here and I get out of the game. Uh, the game, I'm playing this on medium graphics. That was Vigor. Yes, very fast to get in there. But like I said, it takes too long to play a game. And by the time you do play a game and get kills about a hundred times, it's so frustrating that uh you know you you wouldn't blame me if you play this game then you know that's hard game to play that's figure on the steam deck